I have a question. Um, I have several friends that are Catholics. And where do you place Catholicism in some of this? I am, um, yeah, I know I'm trying to be nice. Is it? <laughs> but I, I don't consider them a cult. Um, I don't think that they are practicing you know, mind control and those kind of things. Uh, they do kind of sometimes come across as we're the one true church. Um, they do have a central leader. <laughs> they do um, <clears throat> believe in continuing revelation. Um, and, they, and they don't uh, accept independent study. Now, they, they, they are progressing in that. They are encouraging people now more so to study or read their Bibles, except that as but we will tell you what it means. Okay, uh, so, um, you know, so it is, there's a lot of control structures in that, but I think the biggest issue for me is salvation by works. Yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, and they, they believe in praying for the dead, too. Yeah. Well, yeah, but the, again, like there's those core things, you know, that's what I'm looking at. And that's where, you know, <laughs> Catholicism is a bit more complex. Yes. I, yes. I mean, I have family and priest, for example, and I know for a fact that he believes in salvation by grace. Right. And he was a priest. Yes, and I, and I will say that. I have no doubt that people need to repent of their sins, be baptized, and that they, by grace they'll be saved. I mean, yes. I know that was true, and he was not alone in that. So it's a complex religion mm -hmm. that has overlays. But you bring up a good point, and that's it, it, the danger is in studying these groups to think, because I know what the group teaches. teaches, I know what the individual believes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You need to take the time, ask them, the person you're talking to, find out what they believe. Like, or in the case like we talked mm -hmm. about, in a Mormon's case, why are you Mormon? You know, why Why do you, and they may not believe anything that Mormonism teaches, but they still identify themselves as mm -hmm. Mormon. Mm -hmm. But they, that's a totally different conversation, because mm -hmm. you can talk about theology all day with that person, it doesn't mm -hmm. mean no, anything to them. <laughs> You've got to get to that, that point in which makes them tick, and figure out what, who you're talking to. And so, yes, there are born again Catholics. There is born again Mormons. There is born again Jehovah's Witnesses. There is born like I don't have any problem acknowledging that because the, the, the issue is the gospel. And I think some groups lend themselves more to that than others. Yes, and the the, the, the group. Yes, as a group. but it's to say because there's individuals within the group who believe the right things. You know that so we should ignore the group. That that would be a fallacy yeah. as well. To quote yeah. Corey Timmons, just because a mouse is in a cookie jar does not make him a cookie. And, and I'll just throw this out there to you. A lot of times when we're trying to judge whether or not a person is Christian or not or whatever, we talk about the creeds. You know, Apostle Creed, Nicene Creed, and you know, those creeds are great, and I don't have any problem with anything the creeds say. They were good foundational things mm -hmm. that helped us sort out a lot of issues. But they use philosophical language. The other thing is that nowhere in the Apostles' Creed or Nicene Creed is the idea of salvation by grace and not through faith alone ever talked about. Mm. And so what happens is if you're using that as a gauge, then the Catholic Church and all these other churches, they slip under the radar because and they, you know, like, okay, well, yeah, we're all working together and we're all on the same page and everything like that. And Instead of going to the scriptures <laughs> and saying, well, Jesus said to the Pharisees, unless you believe I am, you will die in your sins. Paul says, if Christ has not been raised from the dead, we are still in our sins. Okay, those are categorical. You can't negotiate with them. Not you know, like That is what, you know, Paul says, if, you, if even an angel comes to you and preaches another gospel, you let him be a curse. What is the gospel? He said, Jesus died for our sins. He was buried and he rose again and found the third day according to the scriptures. So if you're not teaching that, then stop calling yourself a Christian. <laughs> Which is, is much a problem on our end because we acknowledge all these groups. And so then these cults are like, well, but you guys teach that same thing too, so why can't we play? 